Raka. Is it allowed? Technically speaking, yes. But the devil is in the details. Everybody now is claiming to be Islamic. So you put the Islamic slogan or logo, everything becomes kosher. So you have Islamic food. You have Islamic banking. And tomorrow you will have Islamic belly dancing. So what is this? Oh, she's wearing hijab, Sheikh, but she's belly dancing. You see these in entertainment, you know, AGT, CGT, voice. You get people, hijabis, dancing and singing. One month and a half ago in, in, in Scotland, there was a hard rock, heavy metal group from Indonesia, three women playing the guitar in a festival wearing hijab. And BBC reported this. What? Islam has conquered. MashaAllah. Heavy metal. Islamic women are singing heavy metal and hard rock. What is this? So when you say Islamic banking, it all depends whether they walk the talk or they make money. Is the Sharia board trusted scholars who fear Allah and say this is Islamic and they stamp and they sign? Or anything they put in the microwave, they stamp and sign and take a big hefty bonus at the end of the year? We look at the transactions. But technically speaking, yes, Musharaka is a halal transaction. Mudaraba is a halal transaction done by an Islamic bank or any other bank. As long as it's following Sharia uh, 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 transactions and dealings, it's, it's a good thing, inshallah.